Hi, I'm Maureen Aquino, and I'm a program specialist on NRPA's health and wellness team. At NRPA, we believe everybody deserves equal access to the benefits of parks and recreation. That's why in 2017, we pledged our support to the Partnership for Inclusive Health's Commit to Inclusion campaign. We're calling our pledge Parks for Inclusion. Through built environment enhancements, model policy development, and best practice guides, Parks for Inclusion aims to increase access to health opportunities for those with physical and cognitive disabilities, the LGBTQ community, racial and ethnic minorities, and new Americans. Why does inclusion matter? We know that historically marginalized individuals face significant health disparities, but we also know that park and recreation agencies already have the processes in place to create welcoming and inclusive environments for all. This support is especially crucial as research has shown that those with physical and cognitive disabilities have significantly higher prevalence rates for most chronic diseases, including cardiovascular disease, diabetes, asthma, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol, as well as increased chances of stroke and arthritis. Those with disabilities also consistently report higher rates of obesity and smoking and a lack of physical activity and outdoor connection. Local agencies can support equity for those with disabilities by ensuring accessibility to parks, recreation centers, swimming pools, nature trails, and other facilities, and by offering resources and support not typically available to those with cognitive disabilities, and designing inclusive programming for those with physical and cognitive disabilities. In the LGBTQ community, Research shows that lack of physical and social activity opportunities contribute to health disparities linked to social stigma, discrimination, and denial of civil and human rights. Social discrimination against the LGBTQ community has been associated with high rates of psychiatric disorders, substance abuse, and suicide. LGBTQ youth are two to three times more likely to attempt suicide, and lesbian and bisexual females are more likely to be overweight or obese. Park and recreation agencies meet the needs of the local LGBTQ community by creating welcoming and inclusive facilities that provide safety and comfort, including family programs that recognize that families come in all shapes and sizes, LGBTQ outreach programs, youth groups and mentoring services, and gay straight alliances. For the new American community, Immigrants and refugees report experiencing intense feelings of loss after leaving their native country and may even go through a period of cultural bereavement and distress. Park and recreation agencies can help to relieve some of this stress through programming like hosting and supporting multicultural community festivals or celebrations, providing opportunities for social engagement and hands-on learning experiences with community members from diverse backgrounds. A community garden is a great way to do this. And by connecting new Americans to job skills training, healthcare, and social services. These opportunities can help to increase self-esteem and create a sense of belonging. In the United States, significant health disparities exist between Caucasians and people of color who more commonly face obstacles to health, such as poverty, lack of access to good jobs with fair pay, quality education, housing, and healthcare. It's also been found that people of color are more likely to have chronic diseases such as obesity, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, poorer mental health, and to be more physically inactive compared with Caucasians. Parks have the power to address these disparities by ensuring that all community members have access to the benefits of parks and recreation. Agencies can support the racial and ethnic community by hosting heritage and holiday celebrations, offering culturally sensitive program hours, providing opportunities for civic engagement, and establishing community gardens that foster social connections, cultural awareness, and connections to nature. For parks and recreation agencies, creating a safe environment in which everyone feels welcome is a great step to promoting inclusion. This can be done in the following ways. Evaluating and addressing key inequities, requesting community representation, tailoring messages, making cultural accommodations, incorporating facility improvements, promoting gender-neutral interactions, and prioritizing accessibility. In the fall of 2017, NRPA, with support from the Lakeshore Foundation and the National Center on Health, Physical Activity, and Disability, 
was able to offer micro grants to four local park and recreation agencies to implement inclusive and innovative projects at their facilities. The Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board in Minneapolis, Minnesota created Sense Tents, a mobile space where those with cognitive disabilities could find peace and recharge during public events. Philadelphia Parks and Recreation in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania launched the Grow Up Green Club, a nature-based preschool program designed to use all five senses for kids on the autism spectrum. The Friends of Macbeth Recreation Center in Austin, Texas purchased an adaptive recumbent trike designed to be adaptable, easy to adjust, and can be utilized by individuals with intellectual and physical disabilities, regardless of impairments in balance, strength, endurance, or previous cycling experience. The City of Pritchard, Alabama's Playing Together project utilized mobile ramps to allow all community members, regardless of age or ability, to work together to build and maintain raised community garden beds. In addition to funding these microgrants, our partners at the Lakeshore Foundation have a wealth of resources for park and recreation agencies looking to improve inclusion at their facilities. At Lakeshore Foundation, we believe there is no physical limit to human achievement. Each year, through activity, research, and advocacy initiatives, we provide opportunities for people with physical disability and chronic health conditions to be active. Check it out for yourself. Physical activity is essential for people with disabilities to lead active, independent, and healthy lifestyles. We're also home to the National Center on Health, Physical Activity, and Disability, which works to create health equity by providing health promotion information to people, families, and professionals, while building communities that thrive through health and inclusion. So what does inclusion mean to us? Inclusion is about equitable access. It's about the freedom to choose. It's about valuing all members of the community and allowing everyone to learn and grow together and move their bodies where they want to go in the way they choose to move them. That's why we've partnered with the NRPA and its Parks for Inclusion campaign. Because when given equal access to outdoor spaces, all people can play and be active regardless of ability, age, or income. Now, we don't want to pave over the entire wilderness but more can be done to provide access to opportunity and choice. We've worked throughout the state of Alabama to provide trail access information signage so that all users can make informed decisions about their outdoor recreation. This process includes first assessing a trail through a mapping process called the High Efficiency Trail Assessment Process. Then assessment results are used to create the trail access information signs that indicate things like grade, cross slope, surface, and more. With this information, people with disabilities and people with a full spectrum of human experiences like older individuals, children, and new trail goers can pick the trail that best suits them. Let's spread the message that parks are for everyone. Use the Parks for Inclusion resources to take action towards inclusion and commit to inclusion at committoinclusion.org. For more on Parks for Inclusion, visit our online database where you'll find resources including toolkits, assessments, and case studies designed to help you take action in your own community. Check it out at www.nrpa.org slash parksforinclusion.